What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jazz. This is Juice. If you have not came from my other channels, you don't know Juice. Juice is my brother. He is our editor. He's in gaming videos on our other channels. It's my homie. Yeah. He is also a Marvel fan. I like these movies, <laughs> but I am not defined as a fan like this boy is right here. So here's what I want to do because I respect you guys so much and I want my channel to be at honest I, I'm not some you know I ain't go to school to be a movie critic I'm just an ordinary person that loves movies I don't read the comic books I didn't watch the cartoons there's <laughs> stuff I miss <laughs> that he so easily saw and so I figured it would be best as we move into a time getting ready for Infinity War that for all the Marvel movies. Juice comes and hangs out with us. He edits all the videos, he does all the jump cuts and all the awesome stuff that you guys love about my channel. So I figured it made sense. Now, Spider-Man Homecoming, that's what we're talking about, in yeah. case I didn't I didn't say that. That's, that's why we're here. Yeah, now, I, if you guys missed my little live video that I did for YouTube, I went and saw the movie and I came home and I consulted Juice like I always do with these superhero movies and he was like, oh, you gotta watch Captain America. Well, why did you say that before I left? I told him where I was going. He didn't yeah. tell me I had to do that. I hold that. I, I hold that. <laughs> it's like, okay. So I literally stayed up all night and I watched all the Captain America movies and Captain America is now my favorite superhero because of his loyalty, period. Have you heard that song by Kendrick Lamar? Which song? And Rihanna, Loyalty. No. It's dope. You will like it, yeah. Oh. It's nice. All right, yeah. yeah, so let's talk about it. I enjoyed the movie Spider-Man Homecoming, but I was really, I felt, I felt empty. I felt like, I felt like stuff was missing because I'm old <laughs> and just the original man, my, my boy Toby, I just, yeah. I just, my boy Toby. It's the whole story, Uncle Ben, Aunt May, they're old, Uncle Ben dies, there's Gwen, there's Mary Jane Watson. It's just, that's what I know. So to see the movies and everything, I was like, okay, cool. Then Amazing Spider-Man came out, I was skeptical. How are they gonna change Spider-Man? He was funny. The Amazing Spider-Man yeah. movies were really cool. Yeah, he was dope. So I liked those. And then because I missed the Captain America movies, I was like, where the heck did this little boy come from? <laughs> like, So once I watch them, I get it. But I just feel like it's just lacking so much substance. See, and it's lacking substance because it hasn't been you know what I mean? It's it's not. It's, it's, it's the Spider-Man movie, but it's not for Spider-Man. It's to set you up for Thor Ragnarok and Infinity War. Okay. There, it's not. Yeah, it's not like a oh, Spider-Man. Here's Spider-Man. Yeah. It's like Avenger it's introduction. Like, yeah. So basically, that movie was his test to become an Avenger. Like when Tony Stark told him, "You're nothing without the suit." Right. Yeah. It's pretty much his test to become an Avenger. He becomes an Avenger later on, and then you get Avengers Infinity War, where he helps defeat Thanos, which you see in Guardians of the Galaxy. Right, see, and it's like they just all intertwine. There's so much comic books, there's just so much <laughs> that goes into it. I was like, my brain, I can't, I can't make it happen. So, okay, so we've talked a little bit about this stuff off camera, but let's see. So, things that mess me up a little bit. So Zendaya's character, crack me up. I'm a Zendaya fan, she's funny. I don't watch her little kid stuff. What is she on? Is she, is she, she Casey that. Undercover? It's Dax, y'all already, y'all already know. <laughs> that show with Bella Thorne, I thought. The dance one. Okay, yeah, see, like, Bella Thorne for me, blended. The Duff and now Famous in Love. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They're not. She, they're not my generation of Disney. It's just like a. Yeah, that's. I. Like, I'm it's like old. Korea. It's like right. Korea's era. It's like our little sister's era of stuff. Yeah, I don't know. This is not my generation of the people. So, yeah, I like her outside of Disney life. But it was. <laughs> it was interesting to just see her character and whatnot. What threw me off though was the ending. It was like my friends call me MJ. Her name's Michelle, and MJ stands for Mary Jane. So is that just like pointless thrown in there? Or does that mean something towards movies to come? I think it just means that that's who Peter is gonna be crushing on through his little Spider-Man spin-off series. I don't think she has anything to do with like the Avengers, anything that's important. She, 
Yeah. Just irrelevant. Yeah, she's just probably gonna be like the center of conflict for the next Spider-Man movie or something. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Okay, something else that I noticed too about this movie is how many villains there are. Yes. So like there's like a squad over here and then I stayed till the end so I saw him run into homeboy in prison but I was like okay so he's a bad guy but I don't know who he is. <laughs> you, saw, you saw those things on his own? Yes. That would be Scorpion. Okay. So he'll turn into like this big guy with the little whoosh, whoosh. And then you got Peter's professor when he goes to college he turns into the lizard. Shocker. Yes, Spider-Man has a lot of villains. This is crazy. Okay, but then now, so the Vulture, are they square? Or does he come back and he's gonna wanna he, kill him yeah, still and be a bad guy? Yeah, he wants to be the one. Oh, he end. wants to be the one yeah, to do it. Yeah, that's why he protected him at the end. He's like, I don't know. I don't know Spider-Man. Because he doesn't wanna work with the other guys. But he, he might. Because there's, there's a group of six villains that go against Spider-Man. Isn't it's confusing because you never know what See? Before. This is why I couldn't do this by myself! You never know which way Marvel's gonna take you with crazy stuff. But there is gonna be like a big group of super villains with the Vulture, Shocker, Scorpion. Uh, I forgot the other guy's name, but he has like a big globe on his head. He does like electricity, electro. Globe? It's not like an actual globe. It's like a like Buzz Lightyear. And he does electricity. A helmet? No, that's like a, a spherical glass thing not a helmet did it that can't... hurt yeah because you're not wearing a helmet buzz lightyear has a helmet that's, on that's it's a, a helmet it's a space suit it is a helmet a helmet just because you're an astronaut and you use it to protect your head in a different environment doesn't make it not a helmet anymore yeah okay <laughs> so basically there's just a billion villains that want to kill spider-man so that's just how that's gonna go yeah okay press conference at the end. He turns down being an Avenger, but then it's like the weird conversation. It's like, was that a test? It was like, yeah, it was a test. And then... So... Is it Pepper? Yeah, Pepper. Yeah, the Pepper comes out and it's like, where's he at? There was a real press conference going on, but he left thinking it was a test. So it's like, is he just like, hey, I'm gonna kick it for a while. I'm turning it down for now. No, I don't think Iron Man really expected him to turn it down. I okay, think, you think he was just fronting? Yeah, he, okay. he legit thought that Iron Man was testing him. Cause one, he's still a kid. Yeah. If he goes and joins the Avengers, his kid life is over. So I think he just wanted to go back to his homie, Ned and Zendaya and just be a kid. Like, and I think the little conversation back and forth was just Iron Man respecting his decision mm. and like trying not to be all hurt about it. Right. Yeah. And not look like he just yeah. got denied. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. I liked Ned. Speaking of Ned, Ned made this movie for me. He was so funny. <laughs> I felt like his little random like popping up. Can you do this? Can you yeah. do that? <laughs> Can you do this? <laughs> I'm in an army of spiders. <laughs> right? Like he was just so funny to me. And then like when he finally got to be the guy in the chair and stuff. And then like, he was like, what are you doing? I'm watching porn. <laughs> like that's the first thing that came to your head. Like how about nothing and get up? Like what? Porn? <laughs> like where does that come from? But I love that. He he definitely made the movie for me. I thought all the weapons were really glitchy, like and crazy. Those are coming back. Those Okay. Those will be back. Um if you heard when Happy was on the phone when they were like moving stuff. Yes. He was like, Alright, we got the layouts for Captain America's new shield. Mm -hmm. Iron Man suit, his cores, and then he couldn't pronounce that last thing. He was like, blah, blah, blah. Thor's magic belt. Yeah. So if you watch the trailer for Thor Ragnarok, his hammer gets smashed. So by the crazy chick. By the crazy chick. Yes. So I'm excited to see how this magic belt comes into play. Because he's going to need it. Because he doesn't have his hammer anymore and his hammer gives him power. If yeah. he doesn't have the hammer, he's just some strong dude. Right. With no like electricity. So with that belt, he's going to need it in Infinity War. You might get it in Thor Ragnarok, so that's my that might be what you see. Then they have him like fighting the Hulk and all kinds of stuff in that movie too. The movie's gonna be nuts. That's not the Hulk. Yeah, it's a fake Hulk. It's Planet Hulk. What? Yeah. He's a planet. Yeah. What? There's a lot of Hulks. There's a female Hulk too. She's in the comic book. She ain't she ain't surfaced yet. I don't know if she will surface. <laughs> but yeah, there's Planet Hulk. And <laughs> He's a friend from work. <laughs> <laughs> Cracks me up. So you'll you'll see that in Thor Ragnarok too. Thor Ragnarok should wrap it all up. Okay. For and like put War. a bow on it yeah. and it's like boom. 
now in a year, here's this movie. <laughs> and it's gonna be, it's gonna break box office numbers for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about it. I mean, now I'm caught up on everything because I, I rock with Thor. I've seen all those movies. I've seen all the Avengers and all that types of stuff. Now that I've seen Captain America and everything, but I definitely, there's still so much. Like, I feel like you have to really, really know all of this stuff to be able to keep up with these movies. It's crazy. Watch cartoons and, and read like, I've read like the major comics. I'm not like that guy who reads number one, number two, number three, number four. <laughs> I'll read like yeah. number 15, ooh, number 17 is dope. I'll read that one. Yeah. Yeah. Just gotta skip around. I got all my knowledge from cartoons and my stepdad hey. in a book. Yeah, like our, our our stepdad, he definitely rocks with them heavy. For those of you that follow my mom on Snapchat, be love. You guys watch vlogs, like he's heavy on the comics. Well, okay. So we're just talking about the movie in general. I mean, I definitely think it was good. I'm gonna give it an A. Ooh, the suit was new for me. Like the high techy suit. Okay, the suit. We'll talk about the suit real quick. I struggled, okay? I thought like when she started talking and everything, like that was funny and made for a funny movie and stuff. I didn't like that the fluid, like the web stuff was part of the suit. Like that's part of Spider-Man and him being see? a spider. So yeah, I thought that took away from his the authenticity. movie made that a reality like, okay so that's not real life no, spider-man like in the comics he made his webs too oh see i didn't know that because like, i just watched the movies the, like a normal spider, freaking person the spider gave him like the climbing the walls super senses all that stuff but he made he made his own web see okay see i didn't know that see then that threw me off i was like what you don't got real webs in your wrists like yeah. <laughs> the suit having like all that's all iron man i don't think yeah he, like yeah I thought that was cool like when she started like freaking out. He's yeah. like, what are you doing? <laughs> you want me to turn it? What is it? Instant kill yeah. mode or whatever. He's like, stop trying to kill people. No. I thought that that was cool. Okay, yeah. so then that makes me feel better about it. Cause I was like, that's kind of a cop out. I was like, I thought he was, so he's a spider. He's got it on his own. Yeah. How you running out of fluid, Spider-Man? I thought Spider it was dope how he hit it under the locker too. Yeah, that was kind of cool. It was like shows his strength and yeah. everything. Okay. So I think it was cool for what it was. As a transition into the other movies and stuff, that's great. I mean, I had somebody tweet me and tell me it was their favorite favorite Marvel movie of all time and I felt like that was an overstatement. Civil like, War. What? Yes. Civil War is the best Marvel movie of all time. Yeah, Civil War was epic. The Black Panther, I forgot about him. Okay, so yeah. let's talk about that too because when I was watching Civil War, I was like, that's where he came from because people are like, you know, all there's all the memes and stuff and people when they're coming to America gear talking about that's how they're gonna go see the movie and I was like, okay, where'd he come from? So it was interesting to see that He's been introduced already. He's from Wakanda, Wakanda, in Africa. He's from Africa. Yeah. <laughs> but Hydra, the guy that Captain America fights, goes to their hometown to try and steal like their like sacred items and stuff. So that's how Black Panther joins the Avengers mm. to stop Hydra. It's all so deep. It's really deep. It's so deep. It deep yeah. So deep and so creative. Spider-Man Homecoming was cool though. So if you haven't seen it, go see it. But if you haven't seen Captain America, you gotta go watch all those movies first. Since nobody told me that, I'm gonna be helpful and let you know. If you haven't seen the Captain America movies, they're important. I feel like watching everything just makes it that much more yeah. enjoyable if you know what's going on. So especially if you haven't seen any of the Marvel movies or you've only seen a couple or whatever, you need to work on that before 2018. Yeah. <laughs> before Infinity War comes out. Like I'm gonna have to do that with um with Star Wars. Like I haven't seen all of the Star Wars movies, Ooh. but I'm gonna have to get that situated before Christmas. I like Star Wars too. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna do it for this. Video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know. Let me know how you guys are with the the Marvel Universe. Are you like Juice and you just dabble in comics and cartoons here and there? Are you a super fan and you've read all the comics and you've seen all the cartoons and you're just you have endless knowledge of all that is Marvel? I want to know. Are you like me and you watch movies like a normal person? <laughs> are you new to all of this? And you've only seen a couple. Let me know what your Marvel resume is. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button. If you wanna see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, God first, God bless.